And joining me now, the Bonson Group managing partner, founder David Bonson. David, first up, how much more juice do these markets have heading into the end of the year? I just see governors and mayors cracking down on gatherings, trying to keep people from being around other people, but the markets are still rallying. Are they looking past that toward the vaccines? Well, they are. And I think, too, it's important that as offensive as a lot of the actions are that these governors and mayors are taking, trying to set draconian rules against my Thanksgiving celebration does not exactly affect the corporate profitability of the S&P 500. And so as on a micro level, as much as I find it uh, really inexcusable, on a macro level, it is not that economically impactful. Now, certainly these different restaurant closings and and other things that are happening in certain cities have been a problem. But really, Dagan, we've seen since the summer that the market has had a better understanding of this virus than almost any public official has had. They know that essentially there, there's going to continue to be spread. We have got to learn to live with it. Now we know a vaccine mm -hmm. is coming. But no, they're not able to shut down the economy because American ingenuity won't allow for it. So there are a lot of rules and edicts and orders, but n there's not a lot of substance behind what these governors are doing. So it's about business. I, I understand about Thanksgiving, but it's about business. And that's my concern and the economy and it not being able to recover on the other side of this. David, I digress. Well, Dagan, Dagan, it's, it's also about freedom. It's also about me being able to pick for my family what's safe just as he can pick for his family what's safe. So there, there's a lot of angles to this whole conversation. I want to move on to Joe Biden is lining up um, people for his cabinet. Former Federal Reserve Chief Janet Yellen expected to become Treasury Secretary. It would make her the first woman to hold that position. What is your reaction to this? What does it mean for not just, again, more uh, fiscal stimulus potentially well, definitely, but also monetary stimulus, because she will have, you know, a, a, a certainly a relationship with the Federal Reserve, which she knows well. Yeah, I think if you go back to the 90s, there has been a Treasury Fed accord building in our country that's very unique. Uh, we ne didn't really ha used to have. And certainly the relationship that Greenspan had with Bob Rubin in the 90s. But even if you go to the COVID moment, the mnuchin Powell dynamic was really quite um, unique historically as well. Having a former Fed chair be Treasury Secretary is a surprise to me. Now, Chairwoman Yellen is probably going to be received well by markets because she was certainly very dovish with monetary policy in her time as Fed chair. But also, it could have been so much worse. The markets have to be relieved that it isn't someone, you know, that could have been far, far more progressive and so forth. I still am surprised. You mean Elizabeth by Warren. Kagan. <laughs> you mean Elizabeth Warren. Right, right. I mean, obviously, we've heard her name. I never believed he would go that right. way. But you're right. That kind of a person could have been really awful for markets. I, I am surprised by the pick. She doesn't have administrative, bureaucratic type experience. And this is more of a diplomatic role. Um, but you know what? I, I think that markets have to be relieved. It isn't worse. And definitely, as you point out, that relationship with the Fed is key as we go into the post-COVID economic reality.